Digital dollars the Fed's new weapon against inflation. Inflation. It's a word that can send shivers down the spine of any economy. Prices going higher with each passing day. For decades, central banks have used a tried and true method to combat rising prices, hiking interest rates. A constant cycle of raising and lowering interest rates. But what if that method isn't working anymore? Time for a new approach. Enter the world of central bank digital currencies, or CBDCs. The Federal Reserve is now exploring the potential of a digital dollar to fight inflation in ways we've never seen before. Traditional tools, like raising interest rates, have their limitations. With CBDCs, central banks can implement monetary policies directly, in real time. Digital transactions, with speed and efficiency. Imagine a world where the Federal Reserve can directly stimulate or cool down the economy, without waiting for the traditional banking system to react. Instead of a slow, old-fashioned bank, a fast-paced digital transaction. But how does it work? With a CBDC, every transaction is recorded on a secure, transparent ledger. This means the Federal Reserve can monitor economic activity in real time and make instant policy adjustments. It's not just about speed. It's about precision. Precise digital adjustments, like tuning a radio. Instead of using a broad brush, like raising interest rates for everyone, the Fed can target specific sectors, regions, or even individuals. It's like moving from a sledgehammer to a scalpel. The potential for fine-tuning our economic responses is groundbreaking. Of course, there are challenges. Privacy concerns, technological hurdles, and global coordination. But the potential benefits might just outweigh the risks. As we stand on the brink of a monetary revolution, one thing is clear. The future of money is digital, and it might just be our best weapon against inflation. The digital dollar's time may have arrived. It will happen we live in a digital world with analog money.